Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the code number of your multi-tashing CODIS in OSD. CODIS is also known as marker or fiducial. It is very useful to know from an application development view as it is difficult to determine the code of the marker just by looking at it or if you happen to forget to write down the number associated with the marker when generating them. In addition, this is also useful for testing if your markers are being properly tracked with your display. As you'll see shortly, a properly tracked marker will never have its code chain. The only value that changes will be its session ID. To begin, we'll need to have OSD running and a keyboard and mouse plugged into the USB ports back behind the display. It is also important that you have performed auto calibration for your display if you have not already done so. There is a link in the video description to show how it's done correctly. From anywhere in OSD, if we press D as in David on a keyboard, we'll get into the debug mode. This is the view of our cameras in our display. If we press the number 8 key on a keyboard, well, we'll see that there's more fuzz around the camera views. We'll need to use our scroll wheel on our mouse, or in this case we have a trackpad. Just use two fingers to scroll up and down to zoom in and zoom out. So we'll zoom in to where your mouse cursor is at. So let me zoom in the camera so you can actually see when I place the code on the screen. So I placed some CODIS cards on here. We'll see that this is 2785. You see that the code right here, 2785, is being read properly. The ID number is number 17. If you place the code again, the ID increases. If we move the code around, you'll see that the marker is not dropping at all. Same thing with this marker right here. This is 2545, also listed right here, but you can see right here. The ID number has changed. And how about this code? We don't know what number this is. We place it on the screen. It's code 346. So if we just move this around, you'll see that the code number doesn't change. We can zoom back out. And then when we're done, we'll press the number 8 key and then press D to get out of debug mode. And that is how you find the code number slash value for your markers. This is a useful tip when creating your own markers. Hopefully in future revisions of OSD, this can be built into standard menu. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. And as always, have a nice day.